Yeah, so <clears throat> this is the Amazon model uh, of the uh, Estes rockets and a little bit bigger. Again, I had gone over this with a couple coats of paint and for some reason, I've been painting since uh, I was a real little kid because that's what my dad was into, working on cars and stuff, and I could not get the paint to come out non-globby. It was just spitting chunks. So basically, I took a razor blade, picked off all the chunks, and then went over it, re-primered um, it, covered up the other paint, did a light sand, and so now I'm going to put the uh, the green uh, paint on here. And again, it's a, it's a testers. It just comes out perfect. It's just a super smooth fog. Uh, I don't know you, how you could ask for much more. Notice again that I'm doing the long, long, uh, long strokes. Uh, so it's a real fine mist. If you go back and forth all, with the button held down, you just get a very irregular globby, uh, globby coat, globby finish. So turn it over here, get this side. And you can kind of hear the pattern of how I'm holding down the button. And then I'll move up here. So that's a pretty light coat, but if you want it to finish real smooth, that's a, that's a good way to start. Let that first coat dry, and we'll get the cone here, nose cone. You can still see the primer through it, which is what I want it to do since it's got my fingerprints there, but we'll get that covered up. And let's see underneath here. And yes, I would, duh, I put gloves on this time. I got yellow paint on me last time. So it's already started to dry. This stuff dries really quick and it's warm in here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry real nice and then I'll come back and do another coat. This is the Amazon model rocket.